Okay, we're gonna try to demonstrate my extremely low budget, uh, very high tech <laughs> modification to the FLT 132 focuser. This is the 3.7 inch focuser to st stabilize it. What you will see is before it's been stabilized, you can kind of see if I just grab a hold of my camera and rock it, it's very hard to see, but there is a little bit of motion there. All right. So what you see here, these, these plastic thumb screws and these plastic thumb screws, sorry for getting in my light, are uh, M4 nylon screws, and I've kind of polished the tips of them a little bit more than they even came out of the box. They are in place of the dummy screws that take up the spots where you can attach a finder base to your focuser, which I don't need. So they're loose right now, so let me tighten them up, and I'm literally just going to tighten them just to where they make contact, really, with the, with the draw tube inside. And hopefully this will be visible. Now, there is no motion. I'm moving the motor, or I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera just as hard as I was before. The motion there is my own body as I'm pulling on the camera fairly hard. I think that solves the problem. The focuser moves freely with this in place, doesn't leave any marks on the tube. Again, these are just, just to the point where they make contact with the tube. They are not snug, but they're just there to act as little extra bearings. Uh, notice that I had already dealt with, this is the one of three, and there's another one on the other side, brass screws that are holding the focuser rotator in place. That was loose when my scope arrived. There was about a millimeter of play in that gap between the black and the red right there where this whole thing could tilt. I had to tighten those up to take up that slack. I've tightened up everything else. There is another screw here, this brass screw here, and there's another one actually inside that red column right there, or collar right there. Those were already very tight. Those are opposite the pinion bearing on my focuser and they were already snugged up and my flex was not in that direction. The flex was in the 90 degree rotated direction from that point. So uh, hopefully this helps somebody else. Uh, I'm going to give it a try tonight and we'll see how it goes.